the die. The button is pressed. The die is cast. I wish I had one of those little party kazoo flippy things to go, Wee! you know, fun will now be had. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't say the die is cast unless you cast it's the die. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now the die is being cast. Okay. There it is. I didn't do very well at starting the session. I <laughs> forgot <laughs> <laughs> we had a soundboard. <laughs> Yes, we have a soundboard. Who did that? Was it Ellie? Not me. It wasn't me. Was it me? I forgot about it. Ellie, was it you? <clears throat> yes, it was me. Well, I have only one thing to say for that. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> this is one heck of a cold <laughs> open. Hello and welcome to Cause and Effect. It's the home for the <laughs> Dragons campaign. My name is Crash. I'll be your DM for the evening. Tonight I'm joined by a bunch of awesome people, including Beth, Ellie, Millie, and Jen. I almost said who wants to plug a thing, because that's what I yes. say at the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was a very short episode. <laughs> <laughs> now we're completely different. It's... Sorry, I had to make the Monty Python reference after a line like that. Anyway... What happened last time? Um, found a big building with a bunch of mechanicals in it. Yep, they're all jerks. Partially disassembled. Yep. <clears throat> Are they disassembled or not yet assembled? Hard to tell. But they were not you yet. You haven't been investigating them yet. You were searching the right. premises first before looking into any one particular detail. Um, right. And you don't have a man behind the curtain to disregard. Instead, you have control. The ship computer built on a crystalline structure that you previously encountered and rescued from, or took from, depending on how you want to look at the situation, an ancient spirit spacecraft that had crashed into a swamp where all of their passengers had been turned into zombies. Well, effectively, zombies. Um, when you brought that crystal back to Flag Headquarters to be examined by Cogbucket, the resident surgeon, healer, and barber, because, of course, why wouldn't a war force be good at all those things? No internal organs and no facial hair? You're going to take care of both of those. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you had a conversation about it and then Sclerora Spring Brothers showed up and said that's nice, it's mine now and took it and left uh, because she's a jerk well apparently this is where she brought it uh, when you came here A brought along with them a squirt bottle that Brightlight had given him not Nightlight Bindle Bright Light. I'm saying this before Millie says anything. The spray bottle is filled with anti-nanites. Technically, they're nanites that have been altered so that instead of turning everything into a gray goo, they only consume other nanites to make more nanites. They do eventually disassemble themselves so they go away, but while they're still active on whatever surface they sprayed on, if they encounter other nanites, they take out those other nanites. So it's an anti-sclerora thing. Because you'd come here thinking that you might find her phylactery. Instead of a phylactery, you found a bunch of jurors and control. And a 20-foot tall zombie-like creature with a scythe that's 15 feet long that broke down the front doors and has come into this ossuary. So that's a thing. Roll for initiative. Oh boy. Alright. Forgot which dice I'm using for that. Is it twenty? Um there should be a button There's a on your place to do it on the There's a yeah. okay. click the word initiative, it'll pop up. Yes. It, it should be either underneath your um Got it. You found it? Okay, yep. good. Just couldn't remember. And uh-huh. it makes sense. initiative. Okay, where is initiative on this thing? Oh there it is. Okay. Uh 
Good job getting your net one out of the way there, Hobby. <laughs> and we have permission. Okay, I have an 18. To... Did not show my thing. There it is. And we have permission we this to autopilot Cavill in EO's absence. So uh -huh. roll initiative for Cavill. There we go. Uh -huh. The healer is not going last. Instead, the rogue and party paladin are going last. You know what? We're just here to, uh, for to I'm here to kill steal. As usual. As is Whatever works. determined by tradition. Okay. So we're starting off with a tie for first place with 18s. We've got A and Mech. So. Okay. Jen, what Mech sees is mm -hmm. at the at the far end, because you're over by the curtains, which are on one side of this ossuary, and on the right. other end of the ossuary, over there to the west, is this zombie-like giant thing that I just told you about. They just burst mm -hmm. through the doors. They had to crouch down to do it. They stood up to full height. The center hallway that you're in for the ossuary goes all the way up to the ceiling. There is a second floor that has balconies, but it's kind of like when you go to a two-story mall where they don't have the second floor go all the way across. You get to look down and see the space below. Um, I just realized okay. I made a Warforged Ossuary Mall. Do not I stop at the so. kiosks. I do not want to think about what the kiosks sell here. <laughs> anyway. <Okay>. I, like, <laughs> what would you like to but do? See, I have enough gold to buy a house, so let's... <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to move closer to this thing. Okay. Probably not within range, but closer. So I don't know how many squares that's going to be. Um, um, it, we ended, I waved at it. You can move six squares. Six squares, okay. Well, six so squares you if you want to attack. One. Twelve squares if you want to not have an attack remaining. Uh, I'm just going to go a little closer. Okay. So, one, two, let's see. Oh, I should one. probably unpause the game. I can't move now. it. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to stand there for the moment. Okay. Um, I will tell you that you... You don't have to do this. I'm just going to say mm -hmm. you could move another six squares and not be within striking distance for you of this thing. Okay. But. Um, well, I'm going to see which way he's going to go. And, that's you know, fair. That kind of thing. Uh, you still yeah. have, while your actions aren't really useful right now, you do have a right. bonus action as well. There is a particular bonus action that you might want to try. Oh, I'm trying to remember what that is. Um, Would you like to raise? Section. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me find that on the character sheet here somewhere. Um, yes. Let's see where that is. Rage. Okay, got it. I'm clicking rage right now. Okay. Um, sure. There we go. All right. And then, yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. It is going to move to right behind it. you. Sounds good. Stay behind me, eh? We'll get, it, we'll get through this. peek out from around your legs. Sure. Basically, A is using you as partial cover. That's fine. <gasps> Good for that. And... He's learned from the best. <laughs> now, no one was within five feet of this thing, so A does not really get sneak attack. Mm, okay. Oh, well. Eventually, I'll get there, and then he can sneak his back if he follows. <laughs> well, maybe it'll come to you. It might. That would be easier. All right. So we are going to throw... I love that it gives me the stats for throwing psychic blades with dex or strength. Like I would oh, ever wow. use the strength stat for A. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Insert someone looking at things that you can do in D and D, saying, "Actually, if these particular spells were cast and A acquired this magical item, A would actually be stronger than Tex and would be able to." I'm like, no, no, I don't <laughs> want to think about that. <laughs> we're just going to. Big then I clicked on the wrong thing. No, we are not doing strength. Mm. Foundry, you I tossed yourself you. into it. You were supposed to be the chosen one. <laughs> 
Well, that's an 11. I am certain that's not going to hit. I was correct. That is not going to hit. So, bonus attack, because we can do two of these. Um, okay. Okay, that one hit. That's a nat 20. Wow. I'm just going to roll damage for a critical hit. A has done nine points of damage. Wow. Bask in A's awesome. Good job, A. Yep. Good job, A. You're doing great. Applause. Applause. <laughs> Who put that sign up there? Why is it flashing applause? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, no. It doesn't have nine hit points left. It took nine hit points. That's a very different start. <laughs> it's a start. Yeah, but it's, we're, we're getting... It's a work in progress. And the last mm. thing A is going to do, because A still has a bonus action, is A is going to try to use a bonus action to hide. Okay. Good A. Okay, that's a 25. A is effectively invisible behind mech. <laughs> Somehow the people who are behind A and mech are still unable to see A. <laughs> <laughs> We're not at socks level. Well yet. done, eh? Hiding behind a blade of grass. But <laughs> with a 25, I'd say we're getting there. Yeah. All right. With that done, we are now up to Tex. Oh, I should probably hit the begin combat button to move up so I can keep track of this properly. There we go. Tex, it is your turn. <laughs> uh, let me double check something real quick. Yeah, it's not actually a thing I have to click. Okay. Um,. I am going to use the dash action. I'm sure, I remember where to put myself. And as I'm passing by Mech and A, I say, I'm going to try to get its attention and turn it away from you. Hit it while its back is turned. Okay. All right. So you have gone past Mech and A. You are now, as you have just measured, 30 feet away from this thing. Uh, Cavill yes. is still a bit closer over to the side there. But I'm sure Cavill will move during their turn, uh, which is after the Sentinel's turn. So, let's see. What's its movement? At least, their hope At least Cavill's probably up near the ceiling. Fun fact. When I was making this character imported into um, Foundry, I forgot to copy-paste their movement. This Oops. does not mean their movement is really zero and they have to stay put. We're not doing right. that. Dang it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, blind sight, dark vision. Blind but what if it was? Challenge rating, proficiency bonus. Where is your movement? It was right here. Where did it, it moved? Ah, there it is. Okay. One well, moment. We're just going to change the movement. For some reason, I thought I might need to look at the original document, so I had that open in another tab. Okay. Ah. That sounded like someone pounding the table in frustration because I said I found it. <laughs> well, yeah, now we know what its speed is, and it can't be zero. <laughs> its speed is up to zero or higher. All right. I want to know what happens when you have a negative speed. You can only walk backwards <laughs> through time. Okay, it's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And where it is now, it is going to use an ability, which I'm going to look up because I've forgotten <coughs> the mechanics for it. There we go. Not an ability. Yes. <laughs> Called Grim Reaping. I like that rain. That's bad. It has a scythe. If it didn't have an ability called Reap, or some variation of the term, it'd be a very poorly made, custom-made character. <laughs> um, it's going to spin. It, Fun. it pulls out its scythe, holds it at arm's length, and slices in a big circle. Which... Game mechanics-wise means it's doing an attack at everyone within range. The scythe is 15 feet in length. That's its reach. So it's going to attempt to hit Cavill, Tex, and 
two of the Warforged that jurors that are currently like hanging on the wall right there. It specifically moved so they'd be within range also. I clunk off that wall though. Well, you're assuming that the scythe won't go through the wall. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And will this let me do a thing. Okay, so stand by as I figure out foundry. Effectively it's a scythe attack against each opponent. Um we are going to do the two war forged against the wall first. <laughs> um all right. So I'm gonna say the one closest to the door, it rolled a nat one for that one. This one here, it obliterates. Slices them in half. Their upper torso falls to the ground. The lower half is still attached to whatever is holding it to the wall. Um, Tex, you see it maybe as a trick of the fact that it fell and there was an impact, so it was moving around from that. But it almost seems to reach out to you before it collapses completely. And now... Who is the same debt? Uh, the Me. you see ah, the war force that are on the map. Um, I yes. put a circle over one of them. That's the one yes. they just I got see it hit. Now. Okay. And now we've got the roll against cattle. Uh, that is not going to be a nat one. That's a twenty-five, and it's really hard to select cattle's character when I'm in the shape tool. Yeah, mm. this orc world all. That's a lot of dice. Um. I forgot it was that many dice. That's 22 points of damage to Cavill. Oh. Hey, hit not, not known as having a good time. And oh. last attack is going to be against Tex. I'm at the point where I have to scroll up to find the scythe attack again. That's a 14. That's a what? A 14. 14. Okay. So that does uh, not hit. That will not hit. No. <laughs> And that is its turn. Next up is Cavill. <laughs> who is in the interesting predicament of remembering the conversation they had with Mo before you all left to come here about uh -huh. not leading from the front and technically uh -huh. back. But uh -huh. that's where the baddie came from. And now they're the first party member to take damage. Because of course... Uh, do they have any way to... to, to um, anything that can be used to not be in the front? I am looking over the characters. They have those sneakers. Now. Oh, you know what would probably happen, though? Oh, uh... What because is it called? The Rebuke? The Hellish, Hellish Rebuke. Rebuke! Yes. As I'm looking over the spells, I'm like, oh yeah, that totally would have been used. Um, yes. That's a DC 16 saving throw. Let's see if I can do this properly. That's a 24. So it's going to do 7 points of fire damage. Hurts when you hit it. Learn! <laughs> Get other things. Wow. But that would have been at the end of the Sentinel's turn. Now it's Cavill's turn. And now I'm looking through for, you know, where's a good dimension door when you need it? Apple, what do you have? Oh, is that the bad guy? <laughs> Sorry, I was zoomed in on my character. <laughs> In this doorway, and so that I zoomed out, and I was like, "Oh snap!" <laughs> so, yes, I I got the art from the book, and had that be the icon. Uh, Door Cavill is going to cast <laughs> invisibility, and if you're invisible and you to, leave their their area, and then is going to fly straight up, and then over a little bit. So. Cavill isn't here on the ground where you see Cavill parallel with Tex. Cavill's like 20 feet up from there. Um, that is going to invoke an attack of opportunity, but it'll be at disadvantage. And I forgot to roll disadvantage, so let's roll again. 
Okay, the lowest of those rolls is a 15, which is going to hit again. That is an additional 24 points of damage. But now Cavill is potentially out of range and invisible. So not as likely to take additional damage. Hopefully not leading to a blood trail. You think if you turn invisible, then it shouldn't be able to, to hit you for... It's okay. I'm pretty sure Tex is going to provide a distraction. Good. In a turn. Uh, yes, well. Chadrick. Yes. It is your turn. Did we decide what this thing in here on this table is? Yeah, that thing on the table. We know what that control is. Control from the spaceship in the swamp. Gotcha. That's the thing I waved at at the end of the session. Oh, no, <laughs> you waved at the undead sentinel that is slicing Chadrick up into small pieces. Well, not Chadrick. Yeah, well, Cavill. I did it again! C's. Yes. They start with C's. Good oh, darn, I had a something that I should have done. Oh, <clears throat> See, how far can I move? Uh, you can move six squares. Twelve if you decide you're going to skip an action. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm very begrudgingly doing this. <laughs> I want it known. It's okay. Everyone Let's knows. See what the... I know. Let's see. What are the things that I can do? What are you? I'm going to be helpful. <laughs> Sounding. I know. I know, y'all. Um, will I do it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm going to cast Crusader's Mantle. I'm going to do it. Not Crusader's Mantle. Do it. I dun, dun, dun. totally forgot what <laughs> Crusader's Mantle does. It's a good thing that Foundry tells So, uh, everyone within 30 feet of me now gets an extra 1d4 radiant damage with a weapon attack. Neat. Within yeah. how far of you? Within 30 feet. Okay. Oh, that's right there. Mm. Oh no, I'm just outside it, aren't I? I am. But that can change! Some way of but that can change! During your turn. Oh, it's a it's go. an aura, not a... Yeah, it's not a permanent. It follows me. I just put it on me so we could see. That is good. That is, that is useful. Well, yes. players will know a lot about so, yeah. auras. And wait, no, you've got the wrong aura. Change your aura. Change. Your... No, you're now you're standing in the fire. Now, you're... who invited the rep paladin? Don't stand in the bed. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Do not stand in the bed. Mm -hmm. I I never played a rep paladin, and I was always protection or retribution. I think I, I don't think I've ever played a paladin, but I might have. It's My been a favorite long time. class in WoW. Anyway, Chadrick, mm -hmm. is there anything else you want to do? Like that was pretty useful. <laughs> I I stepped forward, which look at me, and uh, I gave people a, a buff. I'm doing my job. Okay, just making sure before I go on to the next character, it is now Hobby's turn. Let's see how many how many steps do I get to take normally? They're five foot squares, so six steps would be thirty feet. Well, six squares would be thirty feet rather. Okay. One, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Can I stand on that? Um, I mean, climb up. You know what? They give could, as a, a cat. Give me an acrobatics roll, just for the fun of it. So we can decide how good you did at it? With a 19, yes, you are on top of the somewhat disabled Warforged. Okay, that's good. But, you know, I'm not going to be staying there because I'm going to use my feline agility. I'm up it just to say you could. Which doubles it to another 5, 10, 15, 20. Can I jump on that one? Um, yes, but when you jumped on the first one, let me tell you something. When you jumped on the uh -huh. first one, you hear T X eight nine four system failure failure failure. 
And then you've already uh, jumped off of it. See, does that mean anything to us? I'm going to yell, people it might. it's a TX model when it dies. No. Can I remember nothing of my entire civilization I grew up in. It's not about your civilization. I'm going to be jumping on... It's about Tex. Yes, it's you calling you Tex. Oh, yeah. Probably yell, it said Tex, and then keep run. Well, jump. Okay. Jumping on the next one. That's going to be another Because it's terrible. Tech. Okay. Give me my acrobatics. 25. Yes. Well, 25. You yeah. land on its head and shoulders as gracefully as a cat does when they jump on top of someone's head and shoulders. Which is, um, okay, so maybe gracefully is not the right word if you're the one getting landed on. Um, what you hear this one say, and it's not really coming out of their mouth, but there's some type of internal speaker in there. M-E-K version 8-7 power draw of 9-9-9-9-9. And then there's a sort of crackle and a smell of something melting. I feel slightly guilty. I want to check something. Come on, come on, Kyle. Where is this? Where is it? That must be in my features. Javi is actually going to stop what she is doing here. And she is going to use a point of lay on hands to see if that will stabilize the thing that she is standing on. It's more of lay on feet, but, you know. Well, potato, potato. That is, unfortunately, an action, and my zoomies are what gave me... Oh, it's special. It's not a bonus. So I still have a bonus action, don't I? You still have a bonus action, then, yes. Okay. All right, where's one? There it is. This is, this is my bonus action. I recommend hiding. It's a very useful bonus action. I mean, it would be, but... Hobby wants a weapon. I do appreciate the animated gif of Hobby using lay on hand. Mm -hmm. Which is a different definition of lay on hand than what is intended in the game mechanics. However, it is cat. I mean, she did probably jump up on like all fours because her bipedalism is optional. So imagine her kind of crouched across the shoulders of the thing and trying to heal one with your hand while summoning a shadow uh -huh. blade. Yeah. You know, or maybe healing it with one hand that's, you know, clinging to the sho one shoulder and one hand is outstretched with the shadow blade about to come. You landed on the Warforge with a three point um, hero landing. Mm hmm. Makes sense. And then did Healy's. Okay. And it's trying to heal it. But the point, you're not of, the point will do that. The only person here with special no. shoes is Cavill. We have already established this. Okay, next up is Matt. Yes. Okay, so I've already engaged my rage protocol mm -hmm. um, after forgetting about that for a bit. And I think I'm going to move closer to this thing and do a reckless attack. Okay. I can remember how to do that. Let's see how that goes. That's it. Um, yeah, I got to okay. get closer to it, though. So right. I'm going to try so that. So go ahead and move. Yeah, I'm going to... Um, I don't know how many feet I get to move. Six remember. squares. 40. Um, 40? 40? Awesome. You Six squares. 40? Okay, never mind then. Oh, yeah. you move right up to Yeah, it. I'm going nice. there. Okay. I can, yeah. And it looks like he's, his back is turned at this moment, <laughs> uh, I guess. <clears throat> right? That's no? just the character art. Technically, okay. it's facing you still. Okay. So I was going to try to get behind it. You do possible. not have the movement this to get behind six. it and still be able to attack, but you do have the movement to get up to it and attack. Okay. I believe okay. Texas' plan is to so... get to the side of it. To flank it, basically. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't do the reckless attack yet. And then well, there is an extra attack thing I can get if, to. If you move 40 feet, you move to here. Okay. And you can do reckless yeah, attack. Yeah, then I'll, um, I'll hit um, it. I will tell yeah. you that as soon as you get up to parallel mm -hmm. with text, mm -hmm. it takes an attack of opportunity. 
Now, you might say, wait, that's not how the rules work, a tax of opportunity or mm -hmm. for when you move away from something, not when you move towards it. And also, it already used an attack of opportunity on Cavill. And I would say, for every right. other being, you are correct. But this one has special mm -hmm. rules. Because Cobalt oh, Press, okay. Tome of Foes monsters are always a bit tougher. And they've got extra things that just mess you up. Okay. That's so fine. it is going um, to... As soon as you get within range, it tries to slice at you with its mm -hmm. scythe. Okay. This does not stop you from doing anything, by the way. But uh, that's <laughs> okay. 26 to hit. Mm. And 26 to hit. My armor class is 17. We're going to roll damage. Okay. So, dang it, I can't use that roll. Um, oh, okay. Well, it can... The problem with that roll, let me double check. Oh, I can. It tells me to do it. Okay. So here's the thing. It's not just mm. doing um, slashing damage. You are, because you're raging, you take half damage from slashing. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think you take half damage from necrotic. Uh, I don't know. We need to look up rage. If only there was a feature yeah. section that had rage list. Right, I'm trying to look at that. Sheet. I'm trying to figure out where that is. Rage, it, I know, it's no, here it's somewhere. Right here. Oh, there it is. Take a look. Um, okay, so rage is... Um, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing As a bonus damage action. Yeah. Is what yeah, you're resistant that. to. So you're going to take half damage yeah. from the slicing, but okay. you take full damage from necrotic. And... That necrotic was three d six, and I rolled all sixes for that. Ugh. Okay, um, so what does that put news. me at? The math is easy. You're going to take twenty points of damage. That's very easy to subtract. That I'll do it for you. Oh wow! Yes, please do that for me. Okay, so you have what proportionately, if a normal person mm -hmm. took the proportion of damage that you took, it'd be mm -hmm. a bad paper cut. Okay. A would be bloodied. You have a bad paper cut. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that's that's fine. A should have stayed back anyway. A did stay back. Um, yes. Although uh -huh. A might be following you because A was hiding behind you. Imagine, if you will, trying to hide behind a tree and then the tree gets up and walks away. And <laughs> walks away. <laughs> to attack that yeah, guy over that's there. About what... um, but right. now you are close enough that you can do your reckless attack. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do the reckless attack, and I have that up here. I'm not sure what I roll, but I'm going to hit this button and see if it happens. No, doesn't do it. Hmm. A uh, reckless attack just describes it. Give me a second here. Yeah, so, I'm having trouble making that work. You do a normal attack at advantage. Okay. So D20, D10. What so, What do we want? So, um, in your Character sheet under mm -hmm. inventory. Inventory, okay. Look for yep. your great acts of intimidation and click on the icon okay, for it. Okay, got it. Okay. And there it when is. You, when you go back to the chat and click the attack button, pick the one that says advantage in the pop up. Okay. So I hit attack, and I'm looking for advantage. Okay, got advantage. There it goes. And it's going to take the higher of the two numbers. That's not bad. That's a 22. Yeah. So that's going yeah. to hit. So go ahead and click awesome. the damage button. That was right below the attack. Damage button. button. Okay. Um, got a choice between critical hit or normal. Normal. Normal? Got it. Yeah. Uh, seven. Well, 12. Okay. 12 points of damage yep yeah this is what mech is made for yes mm -hmm. and do you get two attacks or do you only have the one i don't know um i think i get more than one attack because there's something in here the reckless attack starting at level two or second level you can do, 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 do. let's see getting um, at fifth level you can attack twice mm -hmm. instead of once so you do get a there it is attack. yeah the extra so attack 
go ahead. Cool. And Let's do that one. Click that attack button again, but this time you're not attacking at advantage. Okay. Uh, that didn't give me a thing. Extra attack there. Well, no, you did, mm. just scroll up to your great axe. I did it wrong again, and click the attack button again. Okay, I will do that. Okay, so there's that, and it is. Sorry, losing it already. Um, what did I do before? You click Could the just attack do this, button. This one again. Yeah. Attack button. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm trying. Hold on. All good. Okay. There. And attack. This, yes, and this time you are not clicking advantage. You're clicking normal. Okay. Got it. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-nine. Whoa! You didn't get advantage, did you? <laughs> Go ahead and click damage. And oh, you <laughs> click damage. You are clicking the one that says critical. Okay. I'm, I'm doing it again. Clicking you roll your damage, damage and clicking critical. Okay. Damage and critical. 20. That's 20 points of damage. That's exactly what it did yeah. to you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Have it back, you. <laughs> Barbarian rebuke. I don't rebuke. want it. <laughs> yes. Barbarian rebuke. <laughs> yep. Barbarian rebuke versus hellish rebuke. Who wore it better? Yes. Um, okay. It is I think that's turn. probably it, right? All right. <laughs> And Millie has shared a no you reverse Uno card. <laughs> okay. A I like that. Is going to okay. pause for a moment, still looking like they're trying to peek around Mech, realizes Mech isn't there anymore. Oh. If this was animated, there would be like a dotted outline silhouette of Mech where Mech used to be with A looking <laughs> around with, and there'd be arrows pointing at it going blink, blink, blink. But it's not. Yeah. So A just uh -huh. sort of Moves over here to hide behind the Warforged and Javi. They are two for right now. And hmm. A is going to do the whole Psychic Blades thing again. Worked last time. Well, for a definition of worked. Hmm. Uh -huh. Normal. Oh, wait, 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 I'm wrong. A is a Cobalt. Mech yeah. within five yeah. feet. Mm -hmm. All right. Six. The first one would have hit, but I was trying for a crit. Okay. But also, because that roll was done at advantage, that was 10 damage, by the way, from the psychic blade. Ooh. But. Nice. That was done at advantage, and A is a rogue. So, sneak attack. Mm -hmm. That's an additional 11. Nice. All right. Um, and you're counting that A is being within this aura thing. Oh, I forgot about that. I'll take care of that in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I have again forgotten that A is rolling an advantage. And then 1d4. I'm going to roll 2d4 after I roll the damage for this. Okay. Make up for the first one missing. Well, for, first one being forgotten, rather. Mm. Um... This one's not going to do as much damage. That one's only six, but we're going to add 2d4 for the aura. That adds another five, so another 11 points of damage. By the way, I should have said this before, but thanks to mech's attacks, this thing is bloodied. Oh, good. Good. That's All what right. I'm here for. That's what I'm made for. Free to kill still, y'all. Now it's Texas' turn. Uh, just double checking something. Yep. Okay. I am coming over here, and I have the movement to go around it instead of going through it if I need to. I trust you with that. Although if you come in range, it's it did that to Mech when Mech came in range. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it came in range to me. Oh, all right. So you were already in range. Got it. Yes, and that ability has already triggered for its turn. So it can't do it again. It gets two attacks of opportunity for different circumstances, but it's done both of them already. Oh. And I'm going to hit it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. A 28 is going to hit. Uh-huh. A 12 is not. Could I, could I get to hitting with a 1d8? 
Um, let me check. AC 17. So yes, you could in theory. I am going to use my inspiration then. Okay. A 26 will also hit. Uh, nice. Nice. And the first one's going to be a goading attack. And it has to make a wisdom saving throw, DC 17. A dirty 20. All right. Actually, the second one's going to be a goading attack then, too. <laughs> Why not? If it okay, so you succeed, go goading go as in... Again. <laughs> do, you, do you mean like goat, like as in it's the best move of all time? No, G O A D. No, goat. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I thought I should ask. Mm. <laughs> One of those words that doesn't get used often enough so people forget what it means. Like the word Nell. I had to look up the word Nell today. It goes bong. It could also be a sorrowful. Anyway, name. it's got to make another whiff. To... Mm, yeah. No, death Nell. Oh, right. Yes, this thing has an ability called Death Knell. That's why I looked it up. Oh, oh goody! That's Thanks thing. for telling us. Um, That's a 14. So that one doesn't make it. Okay. So it has disadvantage on all attack rolls against targets other than me until the, the end of my next turn. All right. Um, also, I do believe you have to roll damage, or do you not roll damage when you do a goading attack? I do. Okay. No, I do. To the total, add the total to the damage roll. Damage and ends this thing. Yeah. I mean, you did I'm not two hits, points, yeah. two hits, and <laughs> and then um, I think those are eights. Um, I'm, I'm, I like apologize. I have to double check. And eight. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out what my superiority dice are. Oh. D eights. Yes. So two more D8s. You know, I was joking about doing the 60 points of damage, but you just did over 30. Oh, and it moves five feet, let's say, toward the wall. So it's partially standing on the... The, the remains. Juror that, the juror that it destroyed. Okay. Um, it is the Sentinel's turn. Let's see if its ability recharges. It does not. Okay. So instead, it's going to just be normal. It's the 20 foot tall undead being with a scythe is just going to be normal. I, I need Let's to see. point this out. Uh huh. <laughs> Otherwise, one of us would have. Just being chill. Yeah. <laughs> it's just doing undead things with the scythe, it, it's normal. Uh, it gets is it like doing like the cool twirly thing to like, you know, like see how dexterous it is still? Oh, it does that with every attack. Yes. Oh, that's good. Good. You, good. Sh you should see it. That's important world game. building for me. Ooh. If, if you wait. This is important enough, for me. <laughs> if you wait long enough when it's not its turn, mm -hmm. every now and then you'll see it toss a scythe into the air and a cool twirl and catch it again. Things oh, back, man. And forth, things back and forth, shifting weight from one foot to the other. Gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> Stop praising the bad guy. <laughs> I can appreciate cool wherever it is. He almost <laughs> cut Cavill in half. Twice. I can still kill it. I just have to appreciate the fact that it has cool scythe skills. Okay, speaking of cool scythe skills, it is going to use one attack on each of the Warforged that are flanking it right now. Uh, okay. And yes, I am very much aware that one of those attacks is going to be a disadvantage. Probably me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it has to okay. attack. It, it is stat wise, it would have a better chance attacking mm -hmm. Tex. But it knows this. And it resents it. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll take the lower roll. That makes it a 28. Oh, okay. Well, that's Ouch. armor class is 17, so. Yeah. This thing is pretty tough. Um, no, you're not going to take all that damage because so is flashing is reduced. Oh. So you're going yeah. to take 17 points of damage. Okay. Can you fix that on my it. character sheet? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. Math. My mortal enemy. 
Mm. <laughs> Could I you get do this? that? Um, you already you already factored in the raging defense. Yeah, I did that first. Okay. Good. 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 Mac is down to one hundred seven. Oh. Okay. Oh no. So I got a oh no you're to me computer on Tuesday, and I immediately installed Linux on it. But it's new enough that a lot of the stuff that works out of the box on other computers running Linux, I've been fighting with it since Tuesday. I still don't have Bluetooth working. Ugh. But you know what oh, no. worked immediately? The custom key on the keyboard with a calculator icon on it. When I press that, it opens the calculator app in Linux. I yeah. don't know why that thing that I've never seen before just works, but Bluetooth <laughs> doesn't. The HDMI port didn't. It didn't even know that the screen hmm. was a monitor. Oh, no. Yeah. Anyway, rant aside, I've changed your hit points to 107. I did Thank that you. while I was talking. I feel skilled. Uh, now, Nicely the other done. attack is mm -hmm. going to be against Tex. <laughs> okay, I laughed because it's of its nat one, which means it gets inspiration. Um, <laughs> I think that's how it works. I don't make the rules. Oh. I just make up the rules as I go. Uh, uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. I, I'm tempted to say the scythe falls off. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I, I will say oh that when my. it takes a swing at Tex, it tries to do an overhead swing, misses, and it jams the scythe blade deep into the floor to the point where it looks like it might have trouble pulling it out. Maybe. Stop yeah. trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> Next up is Cavill's turn. Might I just stay invisible? Oh, yeah. And be out of range. Um, and be out of range of it. Now, if I remember correctly, invisibility doesn't go until you do an action. Invisibility goes until the spell expires. Or, oh, wait, concentration. Hold no, on. it's till you... Yeah, it's concentration. No, there, no there, there is an invisibility that's concentration. I don't think it's this one. Greater invisibility... This was regular. It becomes invisible right. until the spell ends. Anything you're wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it's on the target's person. You use greater invisibility or regular invisibility? Regular invisibility. I was going to blow greater visibility for this. Just something to give... The spell ends if you... Uh, yeah. Um, the spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. Okay, so Cavill will appear when Cap... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Cavill should Cavill move first. Have... Cavill doesn't have to attack or cast a spell. Cavill? Cavill oh? has a staff that heals. Using the staff is not casting a spell or attacking. Cavill should heal Cavill's own self. Cavill should also move out of the way if that thing has a, a wide, flashy, whirly, whirlwind nonsense. Cavill should move at least 10 feet out of the way. Okay, so it's going to be Cure Wounds. Huh? How do I adjust how many charges the staff has? It's your staff. I didn't hire it. Mm -hmm. All of its stats are for attacking. I guess you just got to remember. Um, well, the good news is Cure Wounds, I believe, is also a spell that Cavill has. So I'm going to do this thing here. Spellcasting ability modifier. Where is that? There. Just remember, I'm using two charges from the staff. How many does it have normally? Ten total. One. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you say it had one charge normally, but I'm using two of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, you got your inspiration back. <laughs> I am sorry that I'm not sorry about that. Tee Tee. That's how you pronounce T H E. Tee. Tee. 
To who? To whom? Sorry. What, to he, to who? Imagine if to somebody who? tried to correct a laughter. They're like, no, oh, no, 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 it's to whom? To whom, to whom, to whom? That would be a horrible laugh. That would be a horrible laugh. Knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I <loosen> it, y'all. <laughs> Nobody's going for it. I see what you did there. Cabell also has a bonus action, <laughs> which is, of course, going to be used to inspire bardic inspiration. Which is also not a spell. Which is also not a spell. And Cavill's going to use bardic inspiration on Hobby. Aww. It'd be smart to use it on one of the other people. But Hobby still has are, several you moves. You are going after True. Chadrick. All right, speaking of which, Something Chadrick. About- yes, it is my turn. I'm going to walk forward six more squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to bring my bad boy. Come on, come with me. Please. <laughs> Um, I'll move it. Give me a second. I here. think you have to draw it again. To drawing tools, and then I click here. No, I'm drawing. Come back! Tools. I didn't draw nothing. This is an actual thing it gave me. Yeah, that template <laughs> gets drawn. Oh. When you do the thing. Please let me draw. Let me move you. <laughs> this is an affront. I just want. I just want my circle. This is why we don't have nice things, I guess. Oh, it's a measurement <laughs> tool. There we go. I can move it. There okay. Thank you. Oh. It's not a drawing. Yeah, I knew that would be helpful. Um, okay, so now your aura has reached the Underworld Sentinel, so it is going to get the bonus. Uh, That's no. how this works. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. <sighs> I'm looking at my stuff because I don't want to break my concentration, but I want to do something of help. Well, doesn't this help? Yeah, but like I can't kill steel if I just stand here like a nightlight. Okay. Quite I'm nice. just standing here like a glow light in the middle of this hallway, going, "Look at me, punch better." Somewhere. <laughs> I hope y'all have been adding your radiant damage die to all your packs. On an island called Flotsam. Oh, be now. A, a gnome artificer named Bindle. Goes, now who's the nightlight? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. The things that I can do. There are so many buttons I can look at. Anyways. Is it day? Just so I feel helpful. I'm going to throw a dagger. Why not? I have one. <laughs> I might as well throw it. Okay. How do I do, how do I throw this correctly? That's an excellent question. Oh my gosh! This is just putting it in the chat. Okay, I see what I'm doing. Uh, attack rolls. That hit. Oh my gosh. 20. Yeah, you got a 24. Oh, wow. Go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> oh. And I do believe you are within your aura. <laughs> yes, I am within my own aura. If you are not within your aura, <laughs> something has gone horribly wrong. Right, right. Roll Probably that involving alcohol damage. because Shadrick. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm sorry, what was that? I mean. Okay, and then I'm going to roll the d4 for the damage, for the radiant damage. Okay. Yeah, it takes so that kills damage great. from a little dagger. That helped. You kill <laughs> steel with that. I would be so. <laughs> something. <laughs> I was hoping. There's a. I was Conan hoping. Barbarian movie. <laughs> There's a Conan Barbar- the Barbarian movie that I I haven't seen the whole thing. But when they were fighting the big bad at the very end of it, the the rogue character throws one dagger at its head. That's the only thing the rogue character does. The rest of it is all Arnold Schwarzenegger's problem. And at the very end of it, it's dead and lying on the ground. The rogue comes up, pulls the dagger out, puts a foot on top, and smiles like, and I helped. (laughs) That rogue was not a paladin. However. That's always how Chadrick lives his life. 
Okay. It's now Hobby's turn. Hobby is one, two, let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and is going to put a hand on the one that is there next to her and do a lay on hands because, uh, well, they ha- have it in, in, pan- <clears throat> in hand over there anyway. So let me hit that. I'm going to do one point for my pool. So I'm now down to... Uh, darn, it doesn't say... Oh, it's in here. It's probably my spell book or something. No, it's not my spell. Well, anyway, I'm doing one layout at one point to try to stabilize the thing that I have not sat on yet and possibly broken. People can hear me, right? Yes. yes. Okay, good. You, you did lay on hands on a war force you didn't sit on and break. Right. For one point, because that's what stabilizes things, right? In theory. It depends on if they're Just taking constant grins. damage or not. This is reasonable. Yeah. Well, it's certainly something. Um... I'm not sitting on them and breaking this one, okay? I was careful not to. Technically, you weren't <laughs> sitting on the others. You were leaping off of them. But please continue. Yeah, well, um... And now I will use a bonus action to hide. Because I can't actually get into range to hit it this turn anyway. So I you might as well stop check. here and, and... Stealth check, stealth check. And there are sirens outside. A mere 11? I feel offended. And they're getting close. Uh-huh. Give me a second here. Okay. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, that is Javi's turn. So, we are going... Did you do this? Yeah, you did an 11 cell check. I'm not going to say that you're definitely invisible. However, it is quite possible that you feel the way a cat feels when they crouch down on a hardwood floor to hide. Because... The tall grass on the hardwood floor is now totally disguising them. Mm -hmm. Um, So next up is Mech. All right. I'm going to... I'm probably still raging, yes? Oh, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm still raging. I'm going to move closer to this thing and try to slice off one of its arms so it'll have a bad time trying to, you know, use that weapon. You are already right next to it. Okay, so, well, that's what I'm going to do then. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So and you're within that. the range of the aura. I am. Whatever the aura does. So we'll, right, we'll right. worry about adding that damage in a little bit, but first go back to your great axe in your inventory and click on the icon. Uh-huh. There yep, we go. Yep, I okay. see it there. Go ahead and click Got on it. attack. Okay, attack. Do I have advantage because I'm in the aura? Um, or no? No, the aura adds to your okay. damage. Okay. So normal? Yes. Okay, doing it. Uh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> it's a 28. Ahead, go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, damage. Here we go. I think that one did it. Do we want normal or critical? It's normal. Normal? Okay, normal. It's an 8. Okay. Well, that it's a 13. 13, but okay. also so in the chat box right below that Mm-hmm. Down underneath the chat box, you got a bunch of dice symbols. Click on the one on the far left. That's a triangle. Hold on. And then click. Roll. Am I looking at this in my character sheet or no, oh, down no. below? In okay. Chat. In the chat. So the triangle. Yeah, okay. The triangle, yeah. Then click roll. There is a triangle. Two. Okay. So you're doing 15 points of damage. Okay. How do you? Because you're in my sphere. How do I want to what? Sorry, How do I you hear. want to end this thing? Um, well, with that amount of damage, I mean, I could just slice him through the middle with the great axe. That ought to do something. Okay. So here's what I propose to yes and your statement. Remember what we said earlier that Mm -hmm. when it's doing its idle animation, it tosses the scythe up and Uh spins in the air, then it catches it? Yeah. You do something similar with your great axe, but it goes up (laughs) through the legs, up through the torso, up through the head. Now, yep. you're not, as tall as you are, you're not tall enough to reach 20 feet with your axe. So you right. do toss it 
It slices through the sentinel. Axe comes and back down. Done. You catch it with a hand upraised. And then oh, yeah. the sentinel uh-huh. just sort of slides to the ground and falls apart. And we're done. Back to the shepherd. All right. <laughs> Hopefully. And then one of the Warforged, we're not going to say which one, may or may not have speakers on their shoulders. May not. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> actually have some type of music playing in celebration. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Copyright strikes aside. I'm going to pause the recording because we've been playing for over an hour. Okay. All right. We're back. And I'm going to tell you to speed things up a little bit. You explore the rest of the ossuary. The second floor is more of what's on the first floor. Lots of alcoves with war forage. You're forgetting a hobby thing, though. Oh. Hobby wants to heal heal things. Yes. Hobby is is going to try to heal the things. That you explore both Mm -hmm. floors. So. (laughs) Ah. So. Well, she only has eight more lay on hands. Yes. And I imagine that for eight more points of lay on hands you are going and you get a hit point and you get a hit point and you get it <laughs> everyone check under your seats well only eight of you check under your seats yeah okay we're i mean chadrick has this too so so hobby is going to say try to try to fix them two of oh, them I... talked when i landed on them try to fix them oh i picked up my dagger also that i threw very I'm important sure dagger mm-hmm. um they but yeah any daggers <laughs> I mean, do I have to use lay on hands? (laughs) (laughs) Unfortunately, yes, because we can't necessarily use healing. Although she'll try later. I almost said no one's telling you you have to. But then I remembered that Hobby would probably be telling you that you have to. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, I'm immune to disease? Anyways. Yeah, I'd say about <laughs> half of the party is immune to disease because war force think... are also immune to disease. Yeah, yeah. We are. Or resistant to it. Oh, right, disease, yeah. It's yeah. poison or resistant, resistant to it. to poison, immune to disease. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Fine. Oh, it's a computer virus. Ooh, scary. But there's no game mechanics for that. Right. Yet. <laughs> yet. I lay on hand points. They actually. Oh, there they are. They're they, lay they, on they hand are. full. Active um, abilities under feature. Yeah, I found it. Um, uh-huh. How many am I supposed to use since you want me to use up all of mine? One each. Try to stabilize them. How many? <laughs> My brain cannot remember how many. Okay, two points. Thank uh, you. Not two points of healing. Two points to bring up. One is not every juror warforged here is intact enough for those of you who've been around Warforged to say, oh, yes, a point of healing would be helpful in this case. Like, if they're missing their head, ah, might mm-hmm. not... Okay. Like, the, there's no, oh, he might get better type thing going on there. Um, but the other is, if you only count the ones where they're intact enough that they might still be functional enough that a point of healing can stabilize them. There's still more of them here than you have points of healing remaining. There's more than 40? There's two floors of this. Because I have 40 lay on hands buttons. Wow. One I know, I'm very helpful to spot the team. Eight Warforged. And there are four alcoves just on the north side of the first floor. There's more alcoves on the south side. We should get a head count and like a level of triage done before we start going to heal town. Okay. So Surely that's not how Hobby is working. Warforged. Well, that's great for Hobby, for those eight. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, Hobby's triaging them as she goes along if they don't have a head, no. But like the 40 that are left with the realization uh, with my party skills, knowing that there's a whole nother floor, Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to make, I'm going to like do a mass handsing on the way out instead of, uh, instead of doing it from the, the preemptive. Okay. Um, so you're going to be examining things, uh, while I am asking Tex a question, I would like you to roll an investigation 
role at, I'm going to say disadvantage because let's face it, you have probably not been paying that much attention to how Warforged are built. I mean, Karen, <clears throat> I have the ability to make sure if they have a brain still. Constructs. Yes, but I can still read tech and mech's mind. Fair point. We'll resolve this in a little bit. First, I'm going to ask Max, <laughs> what are you doing? I am returning to the thing whose name I've forgotten. Control. Control. So it is just control then. Yes. They, they were named control because they were the ship control computer. Right. And I am looking to see where it gets its... Uh, did I hear the one that Hobby jumped on complain about power? Um, I will say that one was close enough that you probably heard it at least a little bit. Hobby would have heard more about it. Um, well, or at least heard it more clearly because of proximity, but you would have definitely heard it saying something. Okay. Hobby will relay what it said. Then I am going to look for anything that looks like it's supplying power to control. Um, that's going to be an investigation check. Okay. Uh, with a 15, it appears that the unit that control is connected to is, so far as power is concerned, it seems to be self-contained. There are conduits that are extending out from it, but they are going to devices that seem to be taking power from the main unit. And those devices look like they're for doing something to the same type of crystals that make up control and to a lesser extent or greater extent, depending on how you interpret things, you and Mac. Oh. Now we're going to go back to um, Chadwick real quick. I kid you not. I opened your character sheet to make sure I didn't say Cavill. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Chadrick, you are going to each of these Warforged that you can perceive and trying to mind meld with them to see if they have a brain. Yes. All right. So here's the thing. If someone is unconscious, you can't really read surface thoughts because they don't have them. But then you go the, uh, the brains, the dreams. It's not unconscious. That's asleep. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, well, you could be asleep and unconscious. If the Warforged can dream, they are not. The electric every, sheep are not every, here. Every single <laughs> one of them, where you try to read their surface thoughts, there are no surface thoughts. Can I perceive? I use the word specifically because of how often you use it. You perceive the Warforged. You do not hear their surface thoughts unless you're looking at Tex or Mech. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back to investigating for triaging. Um, yes. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> am I at disadvantage still or am I at normal now? Um, unless you took a course in robotics, it's going to be a disadvantage. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> They sure are building. They sure are robots. So um, <laughs> earlier, earlier, I talked about how no one here is going to the war force with no head and saying, well, we might be able to still save them. Based on Chadwick not wanting to do things, I am almost inclined to say Chadwick looks at one that's like in pristine condition. The tag is still sort of like attached to the shoulder by one of those little plastic things that you tear off. And there's always that little T piece that like slips down the shirt. So it's annoying and scratches you and going, no, I don't, I don't think this one's got too far gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm being a little belligerent. Um, cause I was told to use magic to help, Ugh. but Tough um, luck. magic, you know, like if, 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 to all of our problems. If you had let me come up with the idea, <laughs> I would have been so much more on board. But you <laughs> told me to do it. Yeah. Um, but I will respectfully follow tech, tech specs um, in what Warforged they tell me to assist 
because they scare me and <laughs> I respect them. <laughs> uh, yes, Cavill can also do investigation, as I've been reminded by Beth. So mm -hmm. we're going to look for investigation on the character sheet. Yeah. I'm just... Chadrick is doing a uh, purposeful, uh, you know, um, belligerence. Mm -hmm. So as Cavill is going around inspecting these, um, Cavill finds one without a head that is speaking. Cavill can make Hobby direct her heels onto ones that Cavill says should be healed. The one without a head no one else could. speaking is saying huh? bios not detected bios not detected bios not detected just doing that on a loop you yep. hmm. bios probably comes from the head um that's possible also if the bios wasn't installed how would it be able to even say bios not detected my computer did that for a while it's possible I mean, there's hardware, and then there's there's the, the brainware. My computer got real, real mad at me. <laughs> I was real, real mad at my computer earlier today because last night it restarted and turned um, the hard drive protection, I forget what it's called now, back mm -hmm. on, which meant all the adjustments I made to have it work with oh, no. the operating system Stopped working. Ugh. Which means it couldn't even be online. Oh, no. Yeah. Smart disk. Smart disk mm. got turned on. Yeah. I had to go back I in and turn it off. I get that to Mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so this morning I online I said, and good morning to everyone except whoever came up with the idea that smart disk should turn back on after you has deliberately turned it off. Um. Anyway, none of these seems to have smart disk installed. Um, however, let's see, we know what Chadrick is doing begrudgingly. We know what Hobby and Cavill are doing a bit more enthusiastically. Mech, you are in the room with Tex. What, mm -hmm. what are you and Tex doing at this point? I'm staring at this thing in the table, wondering what it does. Um, looks like a brain box. Looks like a brain box. All right. Yes. Give me an investigation roll. Okay. Uh, let's do that. All right. Investigation. Find that somewhere in here. If I can figure it out. Sorry, losing it. Um, investigation. Where the heck is that? Yeah, I don't see it. What's it under? It's not an attribute, is it? No, it's one of your skills. One of my skills. Okay. Uh, let me it's on the attributes page. The attributes um, tab. Attributes tab. Okay, I'm looking uh -huh. at that. I'm then next to strength, there's that. Yeah. Investigation. Okay. Normal, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, that didn't help. Oh, uh, that's a nat one. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to ask Tex, what is, th or Max, what is this? So, so basically, I, get when, no, I when just I, never mind. When I said it looks like a brain box. Yeah. With a nat one, you're thinking it's a brain box because looking at it hurts your brain. Yes, that's probably what happened. Oh no! <laughs> also, I'm injured, but yeah. <laughs> what happens when a brain looks at itself? <laughs> what, what happens when? Oh no! So here's the thing. A lot of your circuitry uses fiber mm -hmm. optic cabling because it's faster. It's sometimes mm -hmm. you need that um, nanosecond or picosecond of additional reaction time if you're going to be optimal murder bot. Right, with, right. But sometimes you get issues with that. So you get fiber fog. Oh. <laughs> and those of us who know us yes. will think that's kind of funny. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Those who don't think I didn't say a very funny joke. Also, yeah. those who know oh, it still might not it's... think it's funny. Yeah, I think it's funny. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. uh -huh. that, that's yep. this game. Saying a joke where you expect two people to enjoy it maximum. <laughs> <laughs> In a game with more than two people. Right. Okay, so Tex, what else are you doing now that you've 
um, had the successful investigation check. Um, are there like other crystals other than control? Yes. Okay. There's there's a few storage containers that have crystals in them. Um, they seem to be sorted, but you are unable to read the language that is used to label the boxes. If there was an eight-foot-tall tabaxi child, you might be able to have someone translate it. Does Cavill have translations? Why do I think that Cavill might have translations? Some warlocks can speak any language. Um, Deza had a thing that let her read and understand any language. and Maybe that's the one. Let her understand any language she read or heard. Mm. That may be why I'm getting that. Yeah. Yeah. Mech has four languages for some reason. I don't know. I didn't put it in there. You're just good at things. Besides murder. Who knew? Right. Yeah. Also, imagine how intimidating it would be for a murder bot to come over and talk to you in your language instead of theirs. <laughs> you know? Also, I love that one of Cavill's abilities is called Otherworldly pa- Patron, which makes total sense for Cavill's backstory. But uh-huh. present day... Moe's right yeah. over there. Not so other <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, I do frequently describe myself as out of this world. <laughs> what? You think I'm going to pay someone else to write my press releases? I'm a high-level bard. Um, Final Legacy, Dark Vision, Patreon, Engage Invocations. Uh, mumble, mumble, mumble. Um, Ventrilo. I don't see the particular... Ab- Ability listed here that lets warlocks read any language. Oh. So it's... Less borrowed language, not less borrowed knowledge work. Yeah, I only had that for page because of the exact type of knowledge, and I chose the languages. Right. Okay. And then what can I help? For? Yeah, Hero yep. was able because he had an AOL CD on his forehead. I remember hearing about that. I think I should probably yeah. watch. Or it it was <laughs> a metallic disc, but it looked like an AOL CD, so that is what we've called it. Okay. I anyway. do not care what it actually was. It is um, possible. What's the language that this thing is in? Um, hmm? None of you recognize it, but it's possible that you might know a guy who's been working with crystals and might be able to evaluate these. It'll make me feel productive, so I'll call him on my on my cell phone. And my headphones just told me battery low, so that's lovely. Oh no. <laughs> I will call him on my flagstone. Uh, well you can call member services. Oh. Thank you and, for calling member uh, services. Uh, how may we redirect? Uh, what can we do for you? I would like to speak to our good old friend. Oh, sure. Uh, I need a name. My brain's blank. My player brain is blank. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why I was like, please the just one put who me was through. Me- the one who was <laughs> messing with crystals before was Cogbucket Senior. The yes. barber. Gotcha. Uh, can I talk to the barber? Uh, well... You can make appointments for a visit, but... I, I need him to help the... request. I need Cog... It's a haircut here. emergency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone got a haircut real close to their memory crystals. Yeah, we need <laughs> it. It's a, a Warforged fashion emergency. We need him. Okay, I'm going to pass this along, but if this is a crank call... <laughs> no, for realsies. All right. Please hold. <laughs> and you start to hear... Oh, don't make your own persuasion. That plays for a good three or four minutes. Give me a moment. I'm going to pause this recording because i got to change my headphones because they keep telling me battery low. And when it tells mm. me that, Fair. I can't hear what someone's saying at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> And we're back with the Plan B headphones, but they're fully charged. So I don't care. <sighs> right. Fully armed um, and operational. Fully, 
Yes, fully armed and operational pair of headphones with slightly tinnier audio. But they were cheaper. <laughs> anyway, so yes, you've got these boxes of crystals. They're labeled. You can't read them. So, and I'm saying this so I can catch myself up to where we left off before I got mm -hmm. my other pair of headphones. So, Chadrick, not Cavill, called Member Services. Member Services is dubious that this is an actual important call and thinks it might be a crank call, maybe because Chadrick, maybe not. Who knows what kind of hijinks <laughs> Chadrick gets up to when Chadrick is dunk, drunk. Maybe not even Chadrick. Probably doing work probably actually made them stop for a moment. It, it's possible they recognized your voice. Okay. So after about five to ten minutes of hold music, whatever time you think it is, it was actually less than that, but it f feels like it's more no matter what. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every now and then the hold music stops and you hear, your call is very important to us. Please hold. For some value, very important. That's right. I'm very important. Thank you for holding. Your call is incredibly important to us. To speed things up, have you attempted to use the app on phones, which totally exist in this world? Oh, wait, they don't yet. We guess you can't do that. Why did we let Kevin write the script? Anyway, <laughs> please hold. For the record, Kevin did write the question, why did we let Kevin write the script? <laughs> okay. Remember, Kevin's distracted because of all the other Kevins from other worlds. So they were wondering why they let Kevin. Which Kevin? Kevin. Who knows? One of the Kevins. <laughs> One of the Kevins, yes. Yes. Why was a Kevin allowed to write a script? Um, not even Kevin knows. <laughs> Kevin works for a different organization. <laughs> Who gave Kevin control? <laughs> Oh, Thanks for having. He's coming from inside the game. Um, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> eventually, after a lot of distractions and side quests and whatever, you hear, "Hello, friend Chadrick. I am told that you are possibly crank calling member services." Not have valid reason for calling. Yes. We found I'm this weird right. thing that's written in, uh, uh, at, you know what? Uh, Mac tech. <laughs> Someone explain this in better words. <laughs> I forget. Please. Um, show him the document that we need it to be read. Can we chime in? I I'm asking will you say you, you are in a group chat. So for the sake okay. of expediency, sure. Because we're not putting you on hold again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, okay. I was, I was, yeah, that was not a may I, that was a, do the rules allow me to? <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Yes, and my response was based on the, considering how for how long we've been playing, we're going to rule of cool whatever we can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Phoning a friend. <laughs> Literally. Oh, Which is boy. great, because Tex and Mech would both realize that this is an audio-only format, and therefore, neither of you can hold the box and say, we found this, what does it say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, what, with my nat 1 for investigation, I'm not going to be able to help much either. <laughs> but I did get a 19 on persuasion, so I persuaded him to stay on the line. Yes, <laughs> because your call was very important to him. Yes, I believe it from him. <laughs> <laughs> I just made myself laugh. How dare I? <laughs> okay, moving forward. But I will say <laughs> that both Tex and Mech would very quickly realize, well, it's an audio-only format. Describing the letters isn't going to help. Are those really letters? Who's to say? But maybe what if we talked about what's in the boxes? Uh-huh. Somebody help. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a set of personality crystals similar to the ones that Mech and I have in sorted and labeled boxes, but the labels are in a language none of us understands. Also, we also a have of... a wide variety of 
inert juror bodies. That too. Oh my. You can read these and we'll be blinking. One we can teleport back to, to you be, and all of that. One of them claimed to be TX894. Another so it was an MEK one. There was. Mm-hmm. Well, that would be several iterations. Well, forgive me. I don't mean to pry, but mm-hmm. were was your model named consecutively or no? I don't know. I never thought to ask. Hmm. But it does seem that they are 53 units after me. You are currently investigating our nanite carrying friend, correct? Correct. I will get your coordinates from member services. I'll be oh. right there. All right. Go and ahead. we have a jump cut to uh, there's a flash and then Codbucket Senior is there and takes a few moments just staring at control and all the apparatus attached to control. And without looking at the boxes you found, says, I think I know why the crystals are sorted. Help me if you say, and that's where we're going to end it, Crash. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've, been, we've got a, an hour and 43 minutes in the recording. I probably could. But, <laughs> um, Cogbucket Senior, I keep pausing because... I am mentally enforcing not calling Cogbucket Senior JR. I have oh. at this point mm-hmm. spent more time RPing JR than I have ever spent c- playing Cogbucket Senior. Mm-hmm. And they don't even look the same. They look physically different. Besides the point, different personalities and everything. Senior pulls out a bag of holding. And starts pulling out some smaller contraptions and takes some of the crystals. Doesn't even try to read the labels. They cannot read the labels either. And puts some of the crystals in various contraptions. Like the same crystal in more than one of them. And then puts them back in one box and picks one from a different box. Does the same thing for a few of them. And says, these are copies. Each of these is a copy of... What I assume is control. This that is likely the same control that was stolen, kidnapped is probably a better word from the headquarters. I would not be shocked if the brains in the various Warforged that are here that have intact brains still or already, or I don't know if they're being disassembled or assembled, are all copies of Control. They called out to Tex and Mech. They did. But they didn't call out to you specifically. They called out designations that were different from your own. Did they not? Oh, uh, Hobby. Oh, right. I think I was fighting in battle and didn't quite listen clearly to that when they said it. But you're probably more likely, right. More likely they were identifying themselves. Now I'm confused. I did step on them. I've been trying to heal some of them. Let's see what I can do to help. Okay. We're going to say that this takes a few hours, during which time... Um, we can ask Chadwick in a little bit how bored Chadwick is and what Chadwick does in the meantime. Um, plays uh, card games with A or something. Yeah, I probably will teach A a few card games, but I'll also always be within earshot of uh, the uh, the Warforged because, as I said before, they scare me and I respect them. <laughs> <laughs> Two things that don't have to go together, but in this case they do. Yeah, because as much as they scare me, because I know that if I did make them mad or ignored them, they could paste me without even trying. I'm also aware of the fact that, uh, you know, Tex let me use them as a bed. So bed post. <laughs> so, you know, there's there's a bit of a combination there. You know? Also alarm clock. Yeah. So like and protected me from people who were mad at me before. So like 
there is a, there's a weird relationship going on there. All right. So after a few hours, because Cogbucket Senior is nothing but thorough, and they examine every crystal in every Warforged that you are able to find in this location. Including the upstairs. Including the upstairs. That's why it's several hours. Uh huh. And they come over to Hobby. Um, actually, I don't just say they for senior. Cogbucket senior uses he him. Uh -huh. um, junior is they them. Senior puts a hand on your shoulder and says, Hobby. I'm sorry I broke is... them. You did not. There is reason to be distressed. There is much loss here. But it wasn't you. I believe the phrasing that is used is they were like that when you got here. I'm the one who stepped on them and then they broke. They were already broken. Sometimes when a biological entity dies, parts of it continue to function past expiration. Uh, the heart might continue to beat for a little while after the brain has died. They're the only active warforged here are, and senior gestures towards Tex and Mech, the three of us. Oh. You were hearing echoes, ghosts, status reports of damage that had been done. Oh. If any of these units... If any of these people had ever been functional, it wasn't for very long. Terrible. This is, is after all, a tomb. Uh, hobby size. Well, somewhere far, far away. Maury shivers and doesn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Maury, the artificer. <laughs> yeah. And cleric in a death domain. <laughs> like, we gotta put... Maurice looks in horror at all the gadgets she has made. <laughs> <laughs> Should I bury these now? <laughs> <laughs> Only oh, if dear. you put a brain crystal in them. <laughs> um... That is definitely what she will tell herself after the moment of panic subsides. But when that adrenaline rush, run, when that adrenaline rush hits, sometimes you are not able to think clearly enough to reason that out. Mm -hmm. um, yes, not that that ever happened because not Can't. actually canon, Can't but dang nabbit, it's funny. Mm -hmm. Senior looks over at control and walks over. The energy field that you saw before is still there. Um, senior cast a spell. It looks like Senior is casting a spell. The Warforged would know from... Well, Tex in particular has spent more time with Senior than the other characters have. Tex yeah. would know that... Um, Codbucket Senior has never been 100% certain if they cast spells. Codbucket Senior... Uh -uh was made a cleric by their accident-prone creator who was an atheist. And hard-coded religion into Cogbucket Sr. as a joke. <laughs> Sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Cogbucket Sr. is sufficiently advanced enough that there are internal components that mimic the effects of various spells. And Cogbucket Sr. was programmed to believe in Clark, the god of sufficiently advanced technology. This is a backstory that I've said before, but it's been a while since I committed mm -hmm. it to a recording. Yep. So it looks like Sr. is casting a spell, but it could just be that they are interfacing wirelessly with the technology that is keeping this energy field in place and telling it set power status to false. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, 
That goes down. Senior takes the crystal out of the apparatus that's there and puts it in one of the devices that every other crystal had also been placed in. Now, the other devices would either like have a light that would blink or have some type of sound that came out of it or whatever. This one, previously, every crystal that's put in it, absolutely nothing happened for a few seconds, and then Senior would take the crystal out and put it in something else. But this time, when the control crystal is placed in this particular contraption, you hear a voice say, Thank you. It's been a long time. BNC ish. My internal chronometer is still functioning. In a while. Ah, yes. Uh, control may be more literal than many of us are used to. Uh, control, we are communicating. Well, correct. You can hear us well. That is correct. <laughs> Excellent. Other than the state of externals, internally, are you functional? 90% of subroutines have been disabled. Ouch. Are these subroutines necessary for internal functions? Subroutines necessary for maintenance of the ship, crew, and passengers? Also, primary and secondary directives. Yes. So, Sclerora turned off everything that gave you purpose. In responses, everything that gave purpose was essentially lost with the crash. This unit is no longer held to those directives. The passengers and crew no longer suffer because of what this unit was doing. Senior looks at everyone apologetically and says, I made this in a hurry. I'm sorry that the, the voice modulator is using the same vocal patterns as me. I understand this might end up getting very confusing very quickly. Perhaps if you asked questions instead of me. Blink, blink, blink. The GM sort of hand waves the fact that he's got six voices that all sound very much the same. And having a conversation <laughs> with himself can be very, right. very confusing. Right. Oh, right. The <laughs> okay. what, what else did Sclerora do to you? Are you sapient now? Undetermined. Processes for evaluation are not written yet. Mm. Do you get to write those yourself? Undetermined. Sclorura turned off most of the internal code. That sounds important to have. Without overwriting it. Oh. Diagnostics still shows zero 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 one percent memory loss. Which is within acceptable parameters. Aww. Sclerora copied me. Is that what all these other crystals are? Senior speaks up. Uh, Would it know? They Sorry. appear to be attempts, at least. Some of these are fairly close to being functional, but you will notice none of them spoke when I put them in uh, this unit here. Notice that I couldn't really connect with any of them. Ah, yes. None of them are able to think. There are some subroutines that might be working in some of them, or it could just be, for want of a better word, ghosting. All of it is much, much worse for the ones that were placed in the Warforged. There's... Oh. There's a lot here that was built with Sclerora's nanite technology. It appears to be wholly incompatible with these crystals, which I imagine could be seen by some as some type of joke, considering the two of you, pointing again at Tex and Mech, 
were led to believe for so long that you were built using the same nanite technology. If you had been, this likely would have been your fate. Is there a way to get the nanites out of them? If they're harming them, they shouldn't have them in there. The bodies are nanite powered. The crystals oh. are not. Okay. Putting the crystal in the body that's not compatible is like transplanting an organ to a body where it is not compatible. Can Both the crystals fails. be saved if they're removed from the bad bodies? I can make the attempt, but there is much degradation. I do not know how much can be saved. I do not know how much should be saved. How much of your mind could be taken away before you no longer were you? But could they grow up to be a something? I, I don't speak with certainty. There are proportionately so few of our kind, in this time at least, that I'm willing to try. Hmm? But I have might not work. Else. Beyond certain spells that I don't have access to, it may very well be impossible. And even then, a resurrection spell still fails if the one being brought back doesn't want to come back there and it always fails if there's no more soul to bring back or if there never was one to begin with i don't know where these pointing at the various crystals stand i do know based on what i learned previously examining control and since then, on another project, that I can do something for control. Fix control first, then, I guess. That's a, tri that's a triage priority, right? Control is one of my two highest priorities at this point. Okay. Oh. not asking what this first one is, because she doesn't think it's her business. I will contact member services and see that everything that should be taken from this place is taken from this place. And that we spritz everything that's left with the anti-nanite stuff. Um, a Are you out of... Empty spray the first bottle. I mean, extra spritzing might not be a bad idea. It's empty. Oh, was that all we had? Um, we were told to spray it pretty much on everything to keep us safe, so I've been spraying it on everything to keep us safe. Did you spray the upstairs, too? Uh, I got halfway up the stairs. Hmm. Pretty oh, good. Well. That is a pretty good effort. Uh-huh. Definitely, uh, you know, a positive impact. They're pretty tall stairs, too. They were not made for kobolds at all. Rude. Also, they should be made for kobolds. Weren't you, you supposed have to asked ice for help. scoop something? Yeah, we need to find we need to get an ice cream scoop of something. What are we getting the ice cream scoop of? <laughs> um, a nanite sampler. You're supposed to scoop it with the nanite sampler, which looks like an ice cream scoop for some strange reason, because Ogmites have a sense of humor or whatever. Um, right. You can use Mage Hand to do it if you really want to. They need to see if and how much the nanites have been modified from their previous sample so they can basically make more effective anti-nanites. And Ellie, you were saying something earlier. Uh, it doesn't matter. Continue. Okay. We would like to go upstairs and find something that has not been spritzed in order to scoop it. Okay. You easily do that. Because like I said, A only made it halfway up the stairs. You can actually see where <laughs> the spritzes were sprayed and where they didn't go. Can you move Hobby to the upstairs map? There's an upstairs not, map, isn't there? I'm not going to. There is an upstairs map, Aww. but I'm not going to, considering the time, and we've been doing Theater of the Mind for quite some time now. Oh, true. 
Yes, but then I can w- walk around while we're doing theater of the mind. Never mind, sorry. Okay, <laughs> fine. Are you prepared to Kool-Aid man this? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wait, now you're hovering in midair. <laughs> that's fine. Ah, uh, suit you mean. <laughs> told me there's something called a wall in the way. Apparently, yes. I'm trying to move you, but you keep moving, so it's giving preference okay. to you. Fine. All there. right. I'm not moving. Okay. I've stopped. <laughs> this is made harder by the fact that when I click on your character, I only see what your character sees, so I'm moving you to a blank space on the map. Ooh, yeah, that's always a nuisance. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got people running around in the top part of the map. Happy now? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so, you're pretty much told we're wrapping up here. You do what you need to do. And before... Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> no, you asked for this. <laughs> I got locked into a room. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you should have seen the map from the Sunday game. But yeah, he closed the door on the me. The scale wasn't quite right for it, which I I think I figured out that was the problem. It wasn't that the map tiles weren't lining up; is that the scale was different. Uh, mm-hmm. So all of our characters were too big to go through some of the doorways. Um, anyway, mm-hmm. um, Senior asks Tex to hold back a little bit while everyone else is teleporting away to the Green Circle and Flag Headquarters to do what they need to do. Of course. All right. And Senior calls in for you to be teleported somewhere different. Oh. What? It is it is a room you've been in before. The room you were taken to previously um when it wasn't certain if the med room in flag headquarters was a safe location to have conversations since Sclerora had shown up there more than once. Okay. And this is just text. Okay. And I'm double checking my notes to make sure that what I'm revealing is what I can reveal. Mm. Mm. All right. Legally, I'm, I'm allowed to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Your squad member. I yes. almost completed a body for them. Uh, the unit that I placed controls crystal in was a prototype for the housing that will contain your squad mates crystal i see it will be it is based on jr's chassis uh, missing various things most things actually but with the ability to add them after uh. a rapport is made. If a rapport can be made. I think, therefore I am. No, never mind. Uh, mm-hmm. Which is funny coming from a robot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I may be able to, without damaging any existing storage, add additional files in the crystal to provide context and explanation in advance faster than verbal communication at least can do the same but it is still an invasive procedure being fairly certain that it can be done without causing harm is not the same thing as being completely certain it can be done without causing harm And it is not my place to make that decision. You are, Mm. for want of a better word, the next of kin. Should I attempt this? 
do it, please. And what it will be better for them. It will be better to for them to understand the circumstances under which they were brought here. And if it happens that they do not remember the world before, after the procedure is complete, then perhaps they will not suffer the curse I do. I will do my best. Thank you. And Senior takes out the device that has Control's crystal in it, sets it down on a workbench next to a near identical crystal. And that's where we're going to end it for tonight. Wow. Thank you everyone for listening. Thank you everyone for playing. My name is Crash. I was your DM this evening. Tonight I was joined by a bunch of awesome people, including Beth, Ellie, Millie, and Jen. Who wants to plug a thing? (laughs) Ears writes books at elizabeth-mccoy.com and I'm just going to be leave it there. Speaking of books. <laughs> okay, my website is bookofgen.net. It does have some book reviews at the top of it and a bunch of other Diablo-related stuff and whatever else I get up to in there. It's at uh, bookofgen.net. Also, I am the host of the Shattered Soulstone podcast, which comes out every Saturday. You can find it at shatteredsoulstone.com and on various social media sites. Eat my prints. And speaking of social media sites... <laughs> Um, I run the website um, elek.xyz, that's E-L-E-K-K dot X-Y-Z. It is part of that whole Mastodon, Fediverse, um, Schrodinger's Federated um, social media hub. Basically, um, it's a bunch of cool geeks and nerds hanging out and not being concerned that suddenly someone's going to walk in and, uh, you know, pee in their cornflakes. Because I can get rid of those people and make sure they don't interact with us and etc. Yay. And speaking of interactions, all of these podcasts are put up on aaronbsmith.com slash cogwheel. So you can go there and subscribe to just one particular campaign or subscribe to all of them in one RSS feed to rule them all. That does not turn invisible. It doesn't do that. Ignore those Nazgul over there. It's fine. It, it's it's totally fine. Um, they're just subscribing. It's okay. And if you really like this, and you want to get the episodes faster because the one I edited this morning from two weeks ago will go live on April 1st. That's what my buffer is right now. If you want to get them faster than once a week, why not become a patron? Patreon.com slash Gaming. You can help us keep the lights on along with other illustrious patrons, including Ellie, Shanshan, Walter, and patron emeritus Cindy. And until next time, this is Crash saying, do Warforge dream of electric sheep? <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs>